Good afternoon on what is a bright, warm and sunny day. It is Thursday the 24th of March and I'm back in the reading nook with uh, this big box which for which for uh, what I suspect is the final time, uh, of course with a nice hot cup of tea. Uh, so let's get into it and find out what's in here. So uh, that and I've already pulled out a few things that were before, quite more than a few things. Uh, obviously dice for the John Carter of Mars role-playing game, and um, a couple of the uh, little um, play aids, like the character cards and the um, location deck. Uh, and yeah, more dice. Uh, and uh, of course, a whole big bundle of books for Mutant Chronicles. Uh, move that out of the way. Let's get down to the last pack, and it is this. Put it in the box just to make it a bit easier. And the last book in here is. Here we go. Nameless Colts. Uh, this is for uh, um, Robert E. Howard's Conan Adventures in an Age Undreamed of from Modifius Entertainment. Uh, it's a 2d20 system, um, and uh, let's have a look. A world of gods, demons, and monsters. I've known many gods. He who denies them is as, is as blind as he, as he who trusts them too deeply. I seek not beyond death. Nameless Cults is the Game Master's indispensable guide to the cosmology, gods, cults, and otherworldly entities of Conan's world and time. This source book addresses the many gods and godlike entities of the Hyborian Age, delving into the cults, their priesthoods and the strange and terrible rites of their followers. So we've got descriptions of major deities like Stern and Remo uh, like Stern and Remorseless Crom, Bori, father god to the Hyborians, um, benevolent Mitra, uh, sensual Ishtar, essential Ishtar, and the serpent god Set. Uh, minor gods such as Ashura, uh, Dakerta, and Bell, and regional cults such as that of Al Menon. Uh, the cannibals of Zambaula and the Im immortality seeking Zugite cult. Uh, write ups of potent foes and allies such as uh, Thog the Mighty and the eminent Calanthes of um, ha Hanumar, uh, enemy of Thoth Amon. Uh, descriptions of sacred relics and tomes such as the Bone Battle of Jabal Sag, uh, also Jabal Sag, the Fire Jewel of Hell, and the Tablets of Destiny. New cult membership archetypes, including the cultist, oracle, philosopher, and pilgrim with stories, backgrounds, and other suggestions for role-playing the faithful. Uh, horrific mind-bending lore about the Old Ones, Cthulhu, Yogg-Sothoth, Athosoth, Nalathotep, and other terrible deities of the Cthulhu mythos created by H.B. Lovecraft and integrated into Howard's Hyborian Age. Stunning art from new and renowned Conan artists. Uh, developed, of course, by le with leading Conan scholars, these are the strange and terrible gods and cults of the Hyborian Age, just as Howard imagined them. So we have um, obviously Conan himself encountering um, an unnameable foe there. Covered on the background, so if you, if you of course if you look inside, you have that full encounter in full detail. So you can really see, um, you basically get an idea of the tentacles and the cultists involved. Um, of course, there's a, a bit of an advert on the back there for various other titles from Conan. Uh, and others from former Diffus Entertainment. And uh, we get into what's in this book, including the essentially the, the academic section explaining you know, the relevance of um, this book and why we should, why we should uh, consider the High Baron Age um, a perfect subject for study, which is a lovely conceit, um, before explaining um, who what's in the book and um, coming up to uh, um, examination of who the author of Nameless Cult is. Um, devotees of Cthulhu Mythos and Call of Cthulhu will recognise um, the name of Von Junts, uh, Von Junts and his book um, Nameless Cults or Anus uh, um, Colton. I apologise for my terrible pronunciation there but Moving, moving, moving swiftly on. Uh, let's get on to the gods and demons of the of, of the setting. So we have an explanation of the cosmos, the outer dark and hell, and the worlds that came before. 
in the world before humankind um, and the various gods of Atlantis, the seven empires. Uh, these all would be sort of tied into essentially the various beings and civilizations that came before. Before we get into, we we'll start discussing religion in the Hyborian Age um, and Hyborian Age cults. The full listing there with the page references um, and across the region. Um, so what's here? This has been actually been amended, so you can actually see which uh, which of the cults um, predominates where in 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 in, uh, in Hyboria. That's a nice idea. Uh, and then uh, so that's continued. Then we get onto cult characters, and this is the uh, using the basically using the rules in the core rulebook uh, to for creating characters. So you start off with your cult cast and your cultist stories um, and um, building stats and so on before we get onto cult cult archetypes so we've got the cultist the oracle philosopher and the pilgrim so uh, it's made clear that essentially that not all cults are inherently evil um, but uh, of course there's some are then we get to cult natures um, educations cult stories so you can create interesting characters using these rules. Uh, uh, and then, so that's a little bit truncated, I think, um, in comparison to uh, the, um, um, the full rules for character creation. Um, so you'll need to use you reference those at the same time. Um, and then we have major gods and cults. Um, so each gets sort of like a, a, a basically yeah, about a page or so each here, starting with Adonis, and then going to Anu, Bel, Bori, um, all gods that, 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 that uh, devotees of Kona will recognise from the stories. Um, but, uh, so yeah, not um, it's on the cult of Erlik. So lots of sections here, a lot of, a lot of text. Um, but, uh, and it's interesting that we have uh, breakout text here because it basically we're looking at Ur God, God Erlik and then here's an option, Erlik as an avatar of Nile Arthotep. So you've got the option there to bring in the mythos uh, to one degree or another. Um, at, um, uh, so we've got to Mitra, and the images of Mitra. Um, and, uh, the cults has so co her cohorts and renemies and the cult of Mitra. Um, but, um, and then the Mitra mysteries. And then we have Set and the cult of Set. Uh, but, um, and his rites and rituals. Nice illustrated there. So the different various gods, um, Yuzu the spider god and the connection between the mother spider and the set. Um, and then we have things from the outer dark. Uh, so here we move on to the more obvious mythos. So starting off with Azathoth and moving through um, the father Dagon. So this is really bringing in uh, they're making the connections between Lovecraft and Howard uh, more strongly, uh, Golgoroth and um, to South Thogua, um, and South Thogua is one of the elements of Howard's writing which has made, made its way into um, what people most regard, uh, generally regard as, as Lovecraftian investigative role playing like Call of Cthulhu or Trailer Cthulhu and so on. Uh, Cthulhu himself, Nalafotep, Shab Nigarath, the major gods and entities of um, uh, the, the Cthulhu mythos. All with interesting, nicely done excerpts from the um, from uh, Onosprakleian Colton uh, by Frederick von Junz or unspeakable and uh, un 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 unnameable cults. Also, the King in Yellow, uh, an image which is basically increasingly familiar. I find in Call of Cthulhu writing, people really kind of focusing upon uh, the King in Yellow as a force of um, entropy uh, and change. Uh, I'm dealing with the yellow sign. Tell me, have you seen the yellow sign? Um, we've also got uh, also yelled stuff off here at the end uh, before we move on to minor gods uh, and cults. Um, 
so these are quite these are more particular to the setting necessarily than the mythos ones um to, so uh, the black god crom um so So on, and we've got example priestesses like um, uh, Calanthes of Hamonar, priestess of Ibis. Four stats, four description, everything you need to know there. Uh, Jebel Sarg and rules for new sorcery, um, which is Black Death of the Swamplands, Curse of the Black Skull, Dance of the Changing Serpent, uh, and the cult, and we've got the letter tied into the cult of Jebel Sarg. So yeah, lots of information here um, before we move on to regional cults. So they're getting smaller and smaller. Um, but again, within their own regions, they're quite going to be no less powerful. Um, and we're dealing with sort of like godlings um, as actually entities you can meet and meet or even household gods. Uh, and so like the, you know, like um, the ivory woman of Punt. Jungle cults of Katai. So not a huge amount to, to really look at and say, oh, look at this. Um, but again, it's all here um, for the, for the game master to use and bring into a campaign. And then the call of the call of the cultist, um, which is really looking at um, you know the role of the cultist, the goal of cults, and the rewards that come with being a cultist, uh, and uh, discussing what the nature of a cult is like. Um, at, uh, and so on, you know, looking, we've got a cult hierarchy here. At, uh, sacred, and then we go on to uh, sacred relics of the cults. So these are in the last section at the back of the book. Things like the Eight God Scepter, the Bone Rattle of Jebal Sarg, or the Elder Sign. Um, and uh, basically, the nice things at the end, okay, here's some relics that you might find but what happens if you basically uh, you go you take down a cult um, or one of its um, uh, one of its temples you can loot the temple brilliant I mean, it's a lovely sort of table of just things that the, the player characters can find um, at, uh, uh, and take away with them um, and we even have essential salts um, investigators and long-time players of Call of Cthulhu will recognize that and lastly, we have, I think it's almost lastly, yeah, no, not quite. We've got unspeakable tomes, Aclo table, Aclo tablets, the Elder Jars. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, Hyboria is, the Hyborian age is not necessarily a literate age, but there are people who are literate and uh, will have access to these, including the cults. Um, and then we've got a cultist of the age. This was one of the backer characters, which is part of the Kickstarter. So yeah, that's Nameless Cult for um, Robert E. Howard's um, Conan and Age Undreamed Of, uh, uh, Adventures in an Age Undreamed Of, um, published by Medivious Entertainment. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, uh, where you will see me out here with a box, um, and a book or game which I will unbox and talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, thanks again for watching another unboxing look, and I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.